All right, guys. I've put this off long enough. It's time to talk about the mountain boar. I wanted to do this more detailed, but I just don't have the time for it. I just, I just don't, I don't got it. So we're just gonna do a little overview. I'll tell you how I put this fucker together. And I'll give you a parts list in case you wanna build your own. So let's start with the easy stuff. Uh, it is an MBS mountain board. I think this one was called the Colt 90. I don't know if they make this one anymore or not. The batteries. I have three 6S 5000s running in parallel. Motors. These are Turnigy SK3 6374192KV. I got these from Hobby King. Somewhere in there, you can see the speed controllers. Kind of just tucked in there. I got one of them's up unplugged because Code Red broke my board in Muncie. So the speed controllers are Hobby Wing 150 amp uh, ESCs for a, for a car. Uh, all the links, by the way, will be in the description so that you can follow along and build your own board. So what else is there? That's it's kind of it for the parts it's pretty simple it's it's just like building anything with batteries speed controller and a motor it's kind of the same thing the tricky part about this guy is there's a little bit of fabrication involved and i'm definitely not a fabricator and i made it happen so so can you yeah this is definitely not refined either look at this just kind of hit all my wires underneath of there all right so the issue there's two things that you have to put together on your own that you really can't just buy. And that is getting the sprocket on the wheel. And then mounting the motors onto the board. They do make mounts that are pre-made for a long board. So what I did was I bought the mounts for a long board and then I just used some Home Depot L brackets to make it longer and bolt to the truck. As you can see under here, there's a th threaded hole where a brake would go. So I knew I had at least one mounting point. So I just ran a bolt into that. And then just a little simple U-bolt. Let's get a better angle at this. There's just little threaded rods that run across to keep it rigid so it really wasn't like real fabrication that I had to do I just used a grinder and a drill and that was pretty much all I needed but that's gonna be the tricky part is you got to make some kind of bracket so depending on you that may be easy or difficult but actually the most difficult part was getting the sprocket on the wheel because it has to be true or else the wheel will or the sprocket will have a wobble and then your chain tension will go in and out it'll be like really loose and then really tight you can either use chain and sprocket or belt and pulley um, because of that threaded hole that I wanted to use I didn't have enough room for belts and also belts don't give you as much there's not as much room for error the tolerances are tighter because the teeth are smaller with a chain, it can be a little bit off and it'll still bite. And it's just more rugged overall. So yeah, if you look in here, not enough room for a belt. I had to go chain. Now what else is there to say about it? Not much, not much at all. I've got some uh, sweet LEDs just now realizing that I got big whoop sticker bombed and all right, here's the controller so this little guy uh, I got from Hobby King it was like 20 bucks but it didn't look anything like this it looked like a regular car radio but I found on Thingiverse a 3d printed case for it so I took all the guts out and then put it into this but the 3d printed case was like really fat so I kind of just fit everything into half of it and then filled it with hot glue and tape. Works beautifully. 
since this is just like a kind of overview of it just if you have any questions just put them in the comments I'll do my best to answer it and if there's anything more in depth that needs to be explained I can do another video but I just wanted to get it done because I've been putting this off for a while and I really just don't have much time to do this kind of stuff I do have a job and then I guess since I feel like that was kind of too quick and easy, I'll show you the other board too. And then, I guess before I get into that, I'll say, if you want the mountain board, which you do want the mountain board, because you can go over grass and do anything with it, it's just more fun. It's kind of better to build one because there's only that one company, Trampa, who makes a mountain board that's electric, ready to go. And it's expensive. But when it comes to this kind of board, kind of makes more sense just to buy one because it's not really any cheaper or easier to build one yourself it, it kind of ends up being the same price so this guy is just a regular old skateboard but it's got a hub motor in it so this wheel is a motor so that kit I got from the company I said does not have that great of customer service. They actually still owe me one of these because the first one fried out and they were supposed to replace it and they still haven't. It's been like three months. So once again, it might just be better to go out and buy one if you do your research. I'll leave a couple of links to that too. There's a couple of boards out there that are like 500 bucks and just be done with it. But this one, all the guts are kind of hidden. I used uh, 18650 batteries, there's 30 of them, so I built my own packs. There's two 5S, 3P, so that means there's three cells in parallel and then five of those in series. And then I'm taking those two packs and running them to a series connector to get 10S for this thing. And I did that because my charger can't do 10S, it can only do up to 6S. Uh, so the breakdown on this guy was if you want to roll the dice and go with that company it was 380 bucks for the motor the trucks and the other three wheels and then this case the enclosure for the batteries I got that from a guy called psycho tiller so I'll leave a link to that too and again if you have any questions leave them down below and then let's see as far as price it kind of it really varies on uh, what you can find which batteries you go with which motors all right so that's the mountain board that's it so I will leave you now with some riding montage and then why not why not do a little add a little flying in there too we'll do some of that too so Thank you as always for watching, don't forget leave some comments, click the like button, all those things, and you guys stay classy out there.